Next news is out of Texas. A pastor who wanted women executed for abortions was arrested for raping a child. Two months ago, when he was still a Southern Baptist pastor, Stephen Bratton testified in favor of a Texas bill that could, al that could have allowed women who got abortions to be charged with a homicide, a crime punishable by death in the Lone Star State. The 43-year-old was charged with continuous sex abuse of a child. He stands accused of molesting a teenage relative for two years, including intercourse multiple times a day or several times a week. A uh, Harris County deputy said this weekend that he confessed and his wife and clergy members um, confessed to his wife and clergy members about the abuse last month. So um, this guy, this guy was enraged when the bill when the bill didn't actually get passed in Texas. Um, it was a bill that was going to give women the death penalty for having an abortion. Um, and he was he was pretty outraged about it. He was very vocal about speaking out against that in the people who didn't allow the bill to get passed. Um, and so his church, the the Grace Baptist Church that he was a preacher at, has issued a statement saying, Bratton is no longer in a position of leadership at the church and is no longer receiving a salary. They added that he was excommunicated by the church the week after he confessed his crimes to pastors, meaning they've washed their hands clean of him. So, um, yeah, I mean, this isn't like he might have done it. He's being accused of. He admitted to doing this mm. to a teenager for two years. Um yeah, guys, be careful with stories like this. First of all, this is not the good news because, I mean, a child was, like, raped, but it's good news that right. he was arrested. But be careful with stories like this because it's it's easy for anti-religious people like us to not all of a sudden overgeneralize. And because we keep hearing stories like this about pastors, to go ahead and say, like, oh, all pastors are like this. Like, no, not all pastors are like this, okay? Um, just be careful. Um, I'm glad this guy was arrested. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a fucking hypocrite, uh, but uh, I'm way worse than that, actually. Never mind. Uh, but um, just be careful and also be careful not to claim that this is. So it, it, religion is responsible for this, and I will tell you why. But it's not this is not something that Christianity allows. Right. So don't blame Christianity or Islam uh, directly for stuff like this because there's nothing in I mean, correct me if I'm wrong Ali there's nothing in Christian Christian doctrine that allows an action like this right so right. directly you cannot blame Christianity and this happens in Islamic circles as well right in Islamic like we in Iran we had a case of this Quran teacher that had molested a whole bunch of boys uh, a very famous Quran teacher close to the supreme leader um, but but indirectly religion is responsible because of creating an environment of trust for people that don't deserve trust uh the environment of authority and legitimacy an environment where parents will uh think that men of god or women of god are to be trusted with children because of what because well they're with god right like no there's no certification, no back, nothing, none of that is required to be checked. And, and putting people in such a high, you know, in a such high position that they are, that their position of authority could be used as, as intimidate, to intimidate people and, you know, to take victims and take advantage of them in a way. So indirectly, religion creates environments where these things are more possible and this again this story is anecdotal evidence so don't just think like all oh, pastors do this on average more because of this story pastors do pastors and priests do this on average more compared to the general population but you shouldn't be convinced by that based on a story you should be convinced by that because you actually like check the data right it is true that the average is higher but don't just take individual stories like this to be convinced but again it's not because of the religion commanding it it's because of the environment religion creates that for these things to happen do you agree with this ali absolutely mm. okay oh that was short um <laughs> will is saying did the story say that uh pastor uh, he confessed to did yeah, it is. He, he confessed. He admitted it. Oh, well, I think, I think uh, Will is asking in our chat, mm -hmm. did the story say what uh, the people he confessed to did with that? So it says in this article that he confessed his crimes to his wife, 
and other pastors. But did they go to the police and turn him in? Mm. Oh, doesn't say. Doesn't say. Oh, and by the way, another indirect way of religion being responsible for actions like this, even though it doesn't command command it, is the. This is especially true with Christianity. I take it back. I'm sorry. I need to correct myself. It does say that the oh. pastors did go to the police. Okay. Wait, the pastor did, went himself to the police? The people he told went to the police. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Um, but another indirect way that Christianity is responsible for this is Christianity does give you the license to sin because, you know, as long as you f ask for God for forgiveness, all your sins are forgiven through Jesus, right? So it basically is the opposite of what people say, that religion makes you more moral. No, actually, re the more religious you are, the more you have the license to sin because all you have to do is sin and then you ask for forgiveness and you're all good, right? So it, again, in an indirect way, religion also does encourage you to be able to do whatever you want because who cares what you did as long as you believe in God, you go to heaven, right? So that's another indirect way that religion promotes these kind of things. Uh, the mad atheist is saying, how old was the child? You know, They're just calling her an underage child who was a teenager. Okay, so they're not saying. Uh, this guy, uh, he was a father of seven. He himself is a father of seven? Yeah, he himself is a father of seven. Okay. And he was sexually abusing a relative, by the way. This teen girl, teen underage girl was a relative. Maybe they don't say specifically what. Maybe that's why not, they're not giving it the age because it's narrowing that narrowing it down so much that you probably will be able to tell who who she is. Right. Um, so somebody, the top comment in the Facebook is saying, "No wonder he wanted to protect the unborn. In a f in a few years, they could become his victims." Ew. Um, my, oh, she was quoting somebody else. Uh, Mira is saying another one. It's always those, it's, it's not always those, so, okay, so she, Mira is saying it's always those pious, high and mighty types who project their um, bestest, or beast, what, basis desires to, unto others. I don't know what that means. But oh, guys, don't say, don't, like I know it's very tempting to be, you know, it's true that pastors and priests and other religious figures do these things more, more often than ever than the rest of the community but it's not a it's not a don't ever say oh always always right and also don't be convinced by this by the news you, you news that you hear right convince be convinced because you actually went and checked the statistics because just following the news is not going to give you a good understanding of how the data is because the news is based on what's most interesting right so i mean if some like there's a whole there are many other people that are molesting and um you know children out there but obviously the a pastor who has asked for execution of women who have committed abortion because it's so, so hypocritical that's going to get a lot more attention right so it you could be like hey wait is it actually more pastors and priests or are they or does this news just get more coverage compared to other people that molest children like you have to ask yourself that and then when you go actually look at the data like oh no it's actually pastors and priests it's true it's it, they do it more than average compared to the rest of the population but just don't assume that by following the news because the news uh, gets more engagement based on what is more what gets more clicks what gets more engagement so be skeptical about it don't come up with don't anal don't come up with patterns about how the world works based on what gets the news coverage atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.